subscribe tag tv youtube channel and press the notification button good evening welcome to south asia news line i'm yeshi chonzo Here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Wednesday the 19th of January. No respite for residents of North India from cold wave and fog. Bilawal Bhutto offers conditional reconciliation with opposition alliance Pakistan Democratic Movement. And Afghan acting PM calls for official recognition of Taliban administration. And now for all the details. Cold wave in parts of northern India continued to make life difficult for the residents on Wednesday while fog reduced visibility early in the morning. People were seen wearing multiple layers of clothing and some of them set bonfires to keep themselves warm. Cold wave conditions continue to persist in parts of northern India on Wednesday, forcing residents to battle dropping temperatures as they stepped out for daily activities. Daily commuters in capital New Delhi were seen wearing multiple layers of clothing early in the morning and resorting to sipping hot drinks and huddling around bonfires to find some respite from the bone-biting cold. ठंड बहुत ज़्यादा पड़ रही है. ठंड के हमारे तो गाड़ी सवारी भी भी नहीं बैठ रही हमारी ऑटो में. और चार बजे के खड़े हुए देखो टाइम कितना हो गया ठंड इतनी पड़ रही है सुगड़ रहे सवारी भी नहीं बैठती ठंड के बारे में similar scenes were witnessed in northern gorakhpur and varanasi cities where local residents consumed tea and sat around bonfires to keep themselves warm a resident said the cold has been so intense that it feels like there has been a snowfall in the plains bahut thand chal rahi hai teen char din se suraj maharaj bhi nal kar raha hai galan hai pura lag raha hai ki barf ekdam gir raha hai बहुत ज्यादा ठंड है सर दिस कम्स एज देयर हैज बीन अ फ्रेश स्पेल ऑफ स्नोफॉल इन पार्ट्स ऑफ जम्मू एंड कश्मीर एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश ड्यू टू वेस्टर्न डिस्टरबेंसेस स्नोफॉल इन द हिमालयन रीजन हैज अ डायरेक्ट इंपैक्ट ऑन नॉर्दर्न स्टेट्स लाइक पंजाब हरियाणा उत्तर प्रदेश एंड कैपिटल न्यू दिल्ली इंडिया एट द यूएन सेड ऑन ट्यूसडे दैट द क्राइम सिंडिकेट रिस्पांसिबल फॉर द 1993 मुंबई बॉम्ब ब्लास्ट वाज नॉट जस्ट गिवन स्टेट प्रोटेक्शन but it also enjoyed a five star hospitality in a veiled reference to the d company had dawit ibrahim believed to be hiding in pakistan in a veiled reference to the d company had dawit ibrahim believed to be hiding in pakistan india said at united nations that the crime syndicate responsible for the 1993 mumbai bomb blast was not just given state protection but it also enjoyed five star hospitality India's permanent representative TS Tirumurthy speaking at the International Counter Terrorism Conference 2022 organized by the Global Counter Terrorism Council on Tuesday said that linkages between terrorism and transnational organized crime must be fully recognized and addressed vigorously On March 12, 1993 a series of 13 bomb explosions took place in Mumbai killing 257 people and injuring over 713 others The attacks were planned by Daud Ibrahim underworld dawn and India's most wanted fugitive. The Indian ambassador said that Al-Qaeda's linkages with UNSC proscribed Pakistan-based terror groups such as Lashkar-e-Taiba responsible for the 2008 Mumbai terror attacks and Jaish-e-Mohammed continue to strengthen their operations while stating that transnational terrorism crimes and funding ought to be identified and addressed on priority. Tirumurthy said that 9/11 terrorist attacks in 2001 had proved to be a turning point in approach towards terrorism in the global counterterrorism domain. India offered a new 500 million US dollar credit line to Sri Lanka to fund fuel purchases. The Indian High Commission in Colombo said on Tuesday as the island nation struggles to manage its worst financial crisis in years. The credit line which was under negotiation since August 2021 will ease pressure on the country's dwindling reserves that dipped to 3.1 billion US dollar at the end of December. Last week India also granted Sri Lanka a 400 million swap arrangement to boost its reserves and help repay debt. 
The Sri Lankan government is struggling to tame retail inflation amid surging commodity prices. Foreign exchange reserves are also dwindling and nearly 4.5 billion US dollar worth of debt repayments are due in 2022, prompting it to look at innovative ways to bring in foreign exchange. In news from Pakistan, Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has offered conditional reconciliation with Pakistan Democratic Movement provided the multi-party opposition alliance withdraws its resignations condition and adopts the strategy of no-confidence motion. Pakistan People's Party Chairman Bilawal Bhutto Zardari has made an offer to PDM, the Pakistan Democratic Movement, that if the multi-party opposition alliance withdraws its resignations condition and adopts strategy of no-confidence motion, his party is likely to go along with it. This comes as the PDM has decided to hold a meeting on 25th of January to discuss the tabling of no-confidence motion against PM Imran Khan's government over the passage of controversial bills, including highly inflationary mini-budget. PPP and the PDM have also decided to hold separate long march protests over the ongoing economic crisis and demand PM Khan's resignation. तो फिर obviously अब मेरे मेरे ख्याल में ज़्यादा इम्कान है कि हम मिलके काम करें but the point is कि सारी जमातों ने अपना किरदार इदार करना है इस वक्त आम बहुत मुश्किल में हैं एक मार्च हो दो मार्च हो दस मार्च हो इस हकुमत को हमने निकालना Meanwhile, Pakistan's Information Minister Fawad Chaudhry appeared to be extending an olive branch to the opposition on Tuesday, inviting it to sit down and discuss matters of national importance. He, however, blamed the opposition has so far only been interested in trying to topple the government, despite constant efforts to engage on reform agenda. Moving on, members of opposition PMLN party have blamed the ruling PTI government has completely failed to bring development in Gilgit Baltistan, while people struggle with ongoing economic crisis. A local political worker said that frequent price hike has shaken the domestic budgets and it has become hard for poor to survive. Members of opposition Pakistan Muslim League Nawaz or PMLN have blamed Pakistan PM Imran Khan's ruling PTI government of failing to bring development in Gilgit Baltistan and rising inflation. PMLN worker Hafiz Abdul Rahim said that frequent price hike has shaken the domestic budgets and it has become hard for the poor to survive. But the government is least bothered. It has failed to bring policies for the betterment of people in the illegally occupied regions so far. So, here is a meaning of the transportation. So, this is the way that the Gandam or Adagi Shagal may have been able to get the money from the government. तो वो भी तब्दीली सरकार ऐसा ऐसा चिंते जा रही है तो इससे मैं उतारवा करूंगा कि जिस तरह उन्होंने वादे और दावे किए थे इलेक्शन से पहले दूध और शहद की नहरें बहाने की लेकिन वो दूध और शहद नहरें तो क्या एक गरीब को जो पानी मुयसर है वो मुफ्त मिल रहे हैं उसको भी खुश कर रहे हैं कि वो भी इनको पैसे की मदद में मिले PMLN Vice President Maryam Khan also slammed PM Khan on Tuesday and said the time of his government would end soon तो मुझे और इनके वज़रा के जो स्टेटमेंट्स आते हैं उससे मुझे ये साफ लगता है कि इनका जो अंजाम है वो बहुत करीब है और मेरा ख्याल है कि पाकिस्तान के आवाम को इस नालायकी बेहसी ना अहली से तारीख की बदतरीन नालायकी से जितनी जल्दी निजात दिलाई जाए उतना पाकिस्तान के हक में अच्छा है। अमित सोरिंग इन्फ्लेशन प्रोटेस्ट हैव आल्सो कंटिन्यूड इन गिलगित बल्तिस्तान ओवर ब्लैक मार्केटिंग एंड शॉर्टेज ऑफ़ फ़ूड सप्लाई अमित विंटर्स। रेसिडेंट्स हैव ब्लेम दी पाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट हैज बीन डिनाइंग देम दी वीट कोटा एंड in news from Afghanistan, Afghanistan's acting Prime Minister Mullah Hassan Akund has called for international governments to officially recognize Taliban administration, saying at a news conference in Kabul on Wednesday that all conditions had been met. His major public broadcast appearance since he assumed the role in September. Afghanistan's active Prime Minister Mullah Hassan Akhund on Wednesday called for international governments to officially recognize the country's Taliban administration, saying at a news conference in Kabul that all conditions had been met. 
In his first major public broadcast appearance since he assumed the role in September, Akhund said, I ask all governments, especially Islamic countries, that they should start recognition. Foreign powers have been reluctant to recognize the Taliban administration, which took over Afghanistan in August, while Western nations, led by the United States, have frozen billions of dollars worth of Afghan bank assets and cut off development funding that once formed the backbone of Afghanistan's economy. Akhund and other Taliban administration officials made an appeal at the news conference, also attended by United Nations officials, for a loosening of restrictions on money into the country, blaming its growing economic crisis on the freezing of funds. The international community has ramped up humanitarian aid designed to address urgent needs and largely bypass official channels. But as the country faces a cash crunch and a deteriorating economy, over the harsh winter, millions of people have plunged into poverty. In a rare incident, a cow in Gomati district of India's northeastern Tripura state gave birth to a two-headed calf, officials said on Tuesday. The two-headed female calf with four eyes was born in the remote Samatalpara village located around 100 kilometers from the state capital Agartala. It has become a topic of discussion among the residents of the region. The calf was born with a medical condition called polycephaly, the condition of having two heads, two ears and four eyes. It is being assisted to stand by its owner who also feeds its milk through bottle. Sex-sorted semen was used to impregnate the cow after which the baby was monitored constantly. In India, animals with such conditions are sometimes regarded as an incarnation of the deities. Basan Panchami, a festival dedicated to Hindu goddess Saraswati, is round the corner. But idol makers in eastern India say that the rising cases of coronavirus in the country led to a fall in the number of their customers. They stare at financial distress as their businesses have been affected due to the pandemic. Idol makers based in India's eastern Patna city say that the rising cases of coronavirus in the country have led to a fall in the number of their customers. The coronavirus pandemic, which has resulted in a months-long lockdown across India in the last two years, has hit several small and large businesses across the country. With 4,551 cases being reported in Bihar state in the past 24 hours and fresh restrictions being put in place religious places, shopping malls, cinema halls, clubs, swimming pools, parks, gyms have been shut and night curfew imposed to curb the spread of the virus. The idol makers are not getting any customers in such a scenario, bringing them losses ahead of the festival of Basan Panchami a festival dedicated to goddess Saraswati. This time it's not coming. What is the reason? This is not coming from the lockdown. What do you think? Your job will be closed and you will be closed. Yes, the night was closed, the day was closed, then we were closed. We had to take the whole thing. We will take the whole thing. Then we will take the whole thing. We will take the whole thing. India's daily coronavirus infection jumped to 282,970 on Wednesday, taking overall tally to 37.9 million. The country has so far reported 8,961 cases of the fast-spreading Omicron variant, which is driving the third wave of the pandemic. Well, that's all we have for you from South Asia this evening. Before we conclude the top stories once again. No respite for residents of North India from cold wave and fog. Bilawal Bhutto offers conditional reconciliation with Opposition Alliance Pakistan Democratic Movement. And Afghan acting PM calls for official recognition of Taliban administration. Now our viewers can watch the show on SouthAsianewsline.com. You can also visit us on facebook.com slash asianewsline and follow us on Twitter at asianewsline. That's all in tonight's edition. We will see you same time tomorrow. Good night. Subscribe Tag TV YouTube channel and press the notification button.